let's solve 1646 get maximum in generic data array you're given an integer n a zero indexed integer array nums of length n plus 1 is generated in the following way number at 0 it's 0 number at index 1 is 1 and thereafter number at index 2 into i so you say i is 1 so 2 into i which is 2 number at index 2 would be number at index i which is 1 okay and number at index 2 into i plus 1 which is 2 into 1 which gives me 2 plus 1 gives me 3 the value would be number at i which would be number at 1 and number at i plus 1 which is be number at 2 okay so essentially they are saying for every uh, for for ev every even uh, even number i need to set it even index i need to set it this and for every odd index i need to set i and value at i and value at i plus one anything multiplied by two will give me even right so that index would be even and this index would be odd because i'm adding one to the even value okay so i'll simply follow the instructions so they'll just give me number a number and i need to create an array following these instructions and then finally return the maximum integer in that array okay so in this case like if they are giving me seven so index zero would be zero index one would be one and thereafter index one would be one because when i is one one into two is two so at index two the value would be one right and index 3 the value would be this value uh, divide the ith value plus ith plus 1 value which is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so not to make things complicated we'll just follow the instructions in the code and see how it turns out to be so when i is less than 3 right if you notice when i is 0 it is 0 when i is 1 it is 1 for 2 i is again 1 for 3 onwards, I would change, right? I would go on to become 2 and so on. So anything less than 3, I'm saying that convert the, convert n into bool, which will give me false if it is 0 and true if it is 1 or 2. And once that is done, it is converted into boolean, then I'll convert it back into integer. That will give me 0 for 0 and 1 for when n is 1 or 2. And that I'll return. Then I would create an empty array, okay, with ones. Okay, this array is of length n plus one, as they do say in the question itself. The nums array should be of size n plus one. And I'm setting each value to be one. Okay, we'll update this while iterating. And I iterate from two to n plus one. Okay, and or and while I'm doing this, would I, I'll for just follow the instructions given here in step three and step four here. So answer at i would be answer at i divided by two plus answer at i divided by two plus one if i is odd. Else i is even, so answer would be i divided by two. Value at i divided by two because they are, we are multiplying it so I can in the reverse order when I have to set i I can look for the divided by 2 and find the value I need to set so that's what I'm doing here I'm finding the value at index at i by 2 plus index of i by 2 plus 1 if i is odd else index at i by 2 if i is even and finally return the maximum of this array okay so let's run and see. And that worked. Let's submit and see. Before submitting, I could simplify this for 
understanding so say I could do IFI is equal to zero return zero if n is equal to one return one or I could say n is less than two less than three right which is one and two then return one and here everything will remain same here what I could do is since 2 is also going to be 1, I could start with 3. Okay, so let's run and see. That worked. Let's submit it. That worked. Better than 100% of the submissions in time and space both. 3 milliseconds it took. So that's how you solve the problem. 1646 get maximum in generated error. See you in the next video.